Hi, this is Steamer Joe. I'm in the process of building a Sirius steam engine, a Stewart Sirius, and I need to machine the box bed. Flat, simple operation, but I thought it was perfect for this old Atlas shaper. So I'm going to get it lubed up and uh, start cutting this box bed. I usually slather this machine in oil and uh, all the oil I put into it comes out, it just runs through it. But I like to get it thoroughly lubed. I'm not sure exactly how old this machine is. I've only owned it for oh, six or seven years, maybe. But I think it was built back in the maybe the 40s or 50s. It's an old, old machine, but in real good shape. So I just slather it with oil and use it. I've actually gotten quite a bit of good use out of it. In machining hard steels, it uh, just uses a piece of tool steel, which is easy to resharpen and cheap, so it's hardly required for this aluminum box bed. But for hard materials, I've got a tiny little milling machine that's good for small, accurate work. But not for cutting the, on my lathe in the shop in the, in the house. I'm out in the barn today. I've got a, an Edistall Maximat 10 lathe. And on the cross slide it has a, a slotted table to use for the milling head that's attached to the back of the ways. And so when the compound is attached to the top of that, in order for me to use full half inch cutters in my Aloris-like tool holder, I've got a machine about a hundred thousandths of an inch off the bottom of those tool holders and they're, they're hard. So this little machine has done wonders for me in uh, machining that. So. But it should work well for flattening out this box bed too, so I'll uh, get it set up, ready to go. Make sure that the, the stroke is going to be proper. That's going to need a little more stroke. See how that looks. Yeah, that should work. I've got the uh, feet set, I think, for five thousandths step over between passes. So
probably take off only about 20 thousandths. I just want to skim a little bit off the bottom surface and I'll take it down to the drawing dimension from the top side. Take 20 off of it. Come back when it's uh, time to move the clamps. Well, some time has passed. Time for me to change the clamps. I, uh, I've also increased the feed to 10,000 step over, and I've got a, a large uh, radius round nose cutter about 7 to 10 degrees of rake and uh, even at 10,000 step over it's leaving a, a nice finish so let me get the clamps changed I just noticed that I adjust this uh, eccentric on the feed mechanism to adjust the feeds. It, it will feed it either 5, 10, or 15 thousandths per stroke. And I actually adjusted it to 15 thousandths. So I'll see what that finish looks like. We'll look at it after it finishes this. Clamps off. We'll look at the finish on this side. This cast material is 
kind of soft and sticky. You can see over on this side, I didn't start using cutting oil, so it was over to that shinier area. But this was the 5,000th speed. And this is the 15. Doesn't actually look too bad. I'll get it set up to cut the other side and be back. Alright, I got the part turned over. Adjusted the feed down to 10 thousandths per stroke, and I also increased the speed of the stroke or of the ram one step faster. So we'll see how it goes. Well, it reverted to 15 thousandths speed. I have to knock it down a notch. Twenty thousandths depth of cut. This little ratchet mechanism has only got three settings. We leave it switched once, twice, or three times. Five, ten, or fifteen thousandths. Looks like it's making a pretty nice finish. Come back when it gets close to the other end. Well, it's nearing the end of this pass. Again, this is just 20 thousandths. Depth of cut. I need to remove 80, so I think I'll try 40 next time and see what it sounds like. Maybe 30. It sounds pretty good and it's leaving a nice finish. Yeah, 30 sounds. for the finished pass. I finished the roughing pass. I 
mics to part. And I'm going to remove 12 thousandths for this finish pass. off the machine and we'll look at the finish. Well, the part's complete. The finish is acceptable. I'll probably smooth it with a file. It's supposed to be one inch. This is two under. One over. Got to get on, on that piece of the casting. Three over. And three over. So it's got a little bit of a taper. Four to aft. But it's an oil sump. <laughs> so, I love using the shaper. I love that hypnotic uh, reciprocating motion. It's a neat old machine. So that'll be it for Steamer Joe. Till I have some more videos on the Sirius.